Nova Hall is with us, and, and Nova, we were talking at the break. Uh, obviously, uh, landed May 21st, 1927. Uh, he didn't have the instruments that we have today in, no. in aviation. This was a remarkable feat, wasn't it, for that day? Truly, truly. When he, when he actually hit Dingle Bay, Ireland, he was only five miles off course, which is just a spectacular feat all into itself, considering all he had was stars, mm -hmm. one compass which with magnetic deviation would cause problems for him to follow that same route, and an earth inductor compass, which was a new piece of technology and was probably the most, the, the newest piece that he had in the entire plane. Mm -hmm. So he had beat his time a bit? Oh uh, yes. Projected yes. time? Yes, their, their estimate was that it was going to take 4,000 miles, which from right. New York to Paris, right. and that it was going to be 40 hours, mm -hmm. 100 miles per hour, that was, that was wow. the specifics turned out that he arrived in 33 and a half hours. He had winds at his back. Yes, the trade winds were pushing behind him. He had good weather by luck. The challenge, the biggest challenge, of course, was takeoff. He topped off the, the, the airplane and it was 450 gallons of fuel, which no airplane had ever been gotten off the ground with, with that, that much, much fuel. And that's a yes. tremendous weight. Yeah. Huge, it was over half of the, the whole weight of the entire airplane. So now he returned on steamer Yes, on the USS Memphis. Because he didn't fly back, and you, that's an interesting story. Mm -hmm. That uh, tells us a little bit why the French, prior to him, did not succeed. Probably. We don't know for certain, okay. but, but they were definitely going against the trade winds. The understanding of weather was, at the time, was not complete. It was minimal. Yeah, and we, it's not like they had satellites or GPS right, okay. or any of these things to, 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 to guide him. Did he, did he put the plane on the ship as well and bring that back? Yes, it, it was carted in, it was put into a, a giant box. In fact, in my book, you actually, there's photographs, because my, my grandfather was in Washington, D.C. when they arrived. That was, Charles Lindbergh received the first air medal, Distinguished Flying Cross. Looking at the book right and, now? Yeah. And so that, um, that probably was so advantageous that we were going that away and they were coming that way. You know, yeah. Now my directions <laughs> that like way. That I, like, I, I would like have that. really arrived in Paris. I'd have arrived in Africa probably. <laughs> right. But that way and they that were, away. Yes. Like so that was probably why that particular incident. Mm. And also, yeah. I think the the wonderful part of this, I think, is the mysterious man. Yes. And that's your grandfather, was yes. the mysterious part of this. And it wasn't widely nationally known. Now, family knew what was going on. Yes. But uh, just until recently, there was not this story. No, no. In fact, in, in the, as I was crafting and finishing the edits for the book, that was when September 11th happened. And if, when it comes to commercial aviation, I mean, the Spirit of St. Louis really is, is, is an important step forward, especially for commercial aviation. Mm -hmm. And watching the towers fall, realizing what had, was happening was very profound, and that was also that same month the Hunt for Mason Treasures, which had come out and mm -hmm. filmed the mm -hmm. reenactment of the discovery of the trunk, that was that premiered that same month. You know, little, did, little did we know what was going to happen later that month. Wow. You know. well, do you think your grandfather? What 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 do he say today uh, about aviation and and where it's headed? Do you think? I. I suspect that he would be thrilled to see what was actually happening. When he ended his career, he was so fascinated actually by helicopters at the time. That was, that was the new frontier, mm -hmm. was, mm -hmm. was a non-fixed wing aircraft. Mm -hmm. He was always pushing, he was always trying to find that next step. Again, I never met him, mm -hmm. but it was through the, the researching of the book, right. interviewing my, my father yeah, and multiple right. other people. If he was alive today, would he be in the thick of it? What, what, and, Absolutely. and pushing, pushing the envelope? Absolutely. He, he fell in love with the sky. He fell in love with the sky. A little and bit about you as an artist. Yes. I, I love to paint. It was <clears throat> about three years ago. I've been doing art and painting ever since I, I was in Sedona. This in is Sedona. one of yours? This is one of my pieces. This is uh, Liberty. This is Liberty. And there's, another, there's multiple other pieces. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. This is the, called Clearing the Trees. This piece oh, is... Man a spectacular piece. I was just as, as, as amazed when I'd, I'd been doing art for so many years and then I was inspired by a spectacular artist down at ASU West and challenged to paint from 
my story. <laughs> your mentor, That's give me one. give me an idea of your style here. I'm going to say something that, that you're probably going to laugh at me when I say this, but I'll say it anyway. People laugh at me all the time. <laughs> but there's a, a, there's a Van Gogh feel there. Van Gogh? Uh, Van Gogh is my absolute favorite there's artist. There's a Van when Gogh was, feel to your painting. Well, Am I wrong? This is, it's true because Tanya's I love Van Gogh. pretty astute, isn't she? I, mean, I, <laughs> I, I love, that is my, my absolute favorite painter was Van Gogh, and then when I met Leon de Soto, who was the fine arts professor mm -hmm. that then inspired me, his technique merged with that technique. With as artists, right. you're, it's always about the process. You're trying to figure out your your process, how you're going to convey the images and the 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 the, the, the feeling, message. the message behind the painting. Are these uh, uh, copies available for people to purchase? They will be. They will be. Well, they will be. Right now, first and foremost is the the exhibition. Mm -hmm. This will be. This is over 10, I think I said this, it's over 10 years in the making. Yeah. And once the exhibition shows, we should be doing pre-orders and all kinds of stuff to help the, the new nonprofit. Is this going all over the stuff. United States? Yeah, that, is, that is specifically the goal. Our, our goal is to move from, from the valley, really cultivate it in the valley, Excellent. then go statewide, and then of course regional, which includes San Diego, and then of course Washington. Well, this story has an, obviously an international impact and uh, great, great work that being done. Thank you. And of course, Lindbergh, uh, not only of course his feet, which uh, supersedes any uh, obviously feet uh, of the Roaring Twenties, this was the Roaring Twenties, <laughs> we must remember. Yes. And of course, the tragic abduction of their baby mm, yes. uh, really just catapulted this whole family to center stage during this time of our, uh, of the century. Yeah, it, the, that particular um, unfortunate part of history was a, I think they considered that the, the crime of the century at it the was, time. It was called the and, crime of the century. And that was at the time when Charles Lindbergh had become the face of aviation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He had met Anne Moreau um, mm -hmm. down in Mexico, mm -hmm. and she was the ambassador's daughter, and it was a very tragic event, yeah. very chapter tragic event in, chapter. In their life. Yes. Um, and again, Flying Over Time, the Spirit of St. Louis exhibit. Flying Over Time, I love the title. Your brainchild? <laughs> that, it, well, my mentor. My mentor, oh. Leandro Soto, through ASU, with him, we came to this conclusion that time. Flying Over Time Perfect. conveyed it. Yeah. I think all, all people should have a chance to see this, uh, young people in particular. And learn to the really history. Learn the history of what went on yeah. yes. to, bu to build yeah, Young aviation. people in particular have been really responsive to the art, and that's why I know we can tie it together for art, history, and science. Terrific. Thank you Nova, very much. Thank you so Nova, much for thank being you. Here. Congratulations. Very nicely done. Terrific, terrific yeah. amount of work. We appreciate you.